Hello friends. Hope your Tuesday is going well. Um, I'm very excited to be starting Spirit Fair tonight. I was gonna look up some gameplay stuff so I would know what I was getting myself into, and then I didn't. So, we'll see what happens. Chunk says, even though this game has a very grindy platinum, I loved every minute of it. It's an amazing, very chill game. We love chill here. And gorgeous art. Yes, this is gonna be good. For a second, you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? Perhaps. I'm Charon. It's pronounced Charon, right? This is this is one Greek mythology name that I definitely get wrong every time. The spirit fairer. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I'm sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you'll have to pick up things where I left them. It is after all my very last day. So hopeful, Junk. Apparently, it's pronounced Chameleon. Chameleon? I don't know. I'm sure that's close. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Stella. What a fantastic hat. Welcome, Stella. See, you have brought a friend with you. What's his name? What is his name? Daffodil. Daffodil. I love it. I see. You two will share the burden then. Um. Shout out to my appearance on the Barden Bible podcast, in which my character was named. I was gonna say daffodil. I think it was actually sunflower. Never mind. Still gonna shout it out though. Because flower names. And take it over from me. Oh, it's a How I Met Your Mother reference. It seems like a deep cut. But also it is ringing a bell somewhere. Okay, as I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. Listen. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. There's always gotta be a Navi. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. over there is the ever door. The alpha where everything starts, the omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed 
and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Stella. Never forget this, Stella. Noted. Here, there's something I need to give you. Now be really careful with it. It, it is the Everlight. symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need. I just noticed the cat staring at himself in the water. Mm. Oh goodness. What are you... Daffodil! Mm. How highly inappropriate. Indeed. Mm. Alright. He just wanted a shiny orb. Well, that settles it. Everlight. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. No pressure. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. I hope so. Accustomed to these moments. Spirit Fairer. You are the new Spirit Fairers after all. Just one thing. One last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. Okay. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. Um, okay, back to the Chameleon. Ted was teaching a class and was pronouncing Chameleon as Chameleon. Yes. I do remember that now. And we, we love a good How I Met Your Mother reference, so no worries. Here we go. Good luck, Stella. move that way. Oh. There it goes. All right. Here we go. B to jump. Hold to jump higher. Hold up while 
jumping to climb through platforms. Did I... Daffodil. What happened? Yes, hello. Oh. Mm -hmm. Stella. Yes, it's me. It is me. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Mm. You look good. They seemed uncertain there for a minute. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Relatable. Ah, uh, it might not be that obvious after all. Walt. Mm -hmm. It's me. Gwen. We are shocked. Good thing you found me. Mm -hmm. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit bearer. Mm -hmm. You are the one replacing... Oh, it did come up again. Charon. We're going with Charon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. What a life. Mm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm. Of course. See that boat over there? <gasps> How could I miss it? Mm -hmm. That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're the spirit fairer. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. Mm -hmm. I'll explain it all. Excellent. Where did Daffodil go? I'm sorry, what? Daffodil can just walk on water with the Everlight, apparently. Mm. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Indeed. Mm. Wonderful. Karen. Excellent. Thank you. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Mm -hmm. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Obviously, I'm on it. Who's stopping me? Don't you think? Mm hmm. Yes. And as you're the spirit fairer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. Indeed. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Which is apparently super cool animal... Animals that smoke. Mm. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. You need to come here and give me a hug. All right. Let's... How, do, how does one hug? Ooh. Mood. Hug. Talk. Food. Hug it is. <gasps> mm. Oh. 
Oh. Mm, much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Oh, yes, the chaos of the boat. Oh no. No, indeed. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. Petunia. Oh, I'll be giving out a lot of hugs. That's delightful. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Oh dear. Mm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Do spirits have dust allergies? Let me think. Mm -hmm. There is only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who can fix your boat. <laughs> Hugs are one of the major mechanics of the game. Well... I've got it down. We're going to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make this ship move. Indeed, I will see. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. Let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. How do you know all this, Gwen? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very. Mm -hmm. Meticulously. Go open up that cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Alright, let's... Put this away. are one of the ways to make a spirit's mood better. Ring the bell. How is your mood? about her new journey and was recently hugged. That's good. Mood perk. Interesting. Would you like some food? I don't have food. The ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm -hmm. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Karen, the Everdoor, the spirit fairs, this place, this boat. Me being here, it's a lot. 
must be wondering what is going on. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. It's very sweet. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. Ah. Uh, the world is your oyster. Tulsa, we are here. Albert's shipyard discovered. Yes, I definitely did that. Here we are. Now head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Mm -hmm. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Fair enough. Condo this boat. So good. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. I've been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spirit fairer? People are making a lot of assumptions. Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Let me see what you have here. A nice little dinghy. Okay, Albert. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. Wild. Karen was unhappy about his gloomy and dank work. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. Don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. And let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here. Chunk says this is for sure Cameron's favorite destination. I'm guessing the jokes might be rather punny. Don't worry. We're still working on it. Hey. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Oh, 
hobbyist. 400 whatevers. Alright. Guest house, garden, field, kitchen. That sounds nice. to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. you for free and he said he loaned the ship to you mm -hmm. ominous yeah some serious nook vibes hard to know what he has in mind but it doesn't sound reassuring anyway let's focus on the task at hand for now mm -hmm. cleaning up this deck you can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option in it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Right. logs, empty bottles, old shoes, and an old carpet. Let's do it. Alright. That's what we have got. View. Looks like a ship. job, Stella. This game is so encouraging. Good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Mm -hmm. Newly welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm -hmm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I feel ya. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Yes. Indeed. hungry. Where was that fishing rod deal? Did 
intention to say there was a fishing rod. It's this. Ah, the fishing rod. We need bright jelly, and a garden, lightning in a bottle. I knew gardening was impossible. Okay, we will, however, build a guest house. house at the front of the boat have some privacy there we go it's too dark to navigate it will be possible again at dawn okay Gwen, do you love it? Mm. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as usual. Thanks. I thought about mm -hmm. it very hard. Now at last I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. Mm. What is going on? I, I don't know. Something else is happening? Hmm. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Hmm. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. For sure, for hmm. sure. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Two fishes. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. Okay. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. You're a little dramatic, Gwen. Mm. That's not how you want me to go. Aren't, but you're a spirit. <laughs> as absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. Mm -hmm. As well as the necessary resources. Did you just find them by magic? You require bright jelly. Yes. Gwen. Mm -hmm. And there is only one way to get some. I... Mm -hmm. Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Gwen. <laughs> Chunk says all the spirits can be pretty dramatic at times. Seems like. Mm -hmm. A 
dark presence, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it is always jellyfish. Mm. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there is no other option. Mm -hmm. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. Mm -hmm. With you, I can do it. Okay. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take some time to prepare myself. Good gracious. Mm -hmm. Stella. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. You seem to have forgot to tell me about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this boat stops at night. Yes. I believe it's a side effect of your ever light being, well, light. Or some other technicality. You know, reasons. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that... You know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Nice. Remember, only do it at the right time, or they'll be salty. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. All right. I do a little more fishing. Oh, and Cameron says, I love building things on the boat. I think I will enjoy it as well. Oh, an old shoe. this game already it's so chill and so cute let's check out this bed dealio sleep until morning yes Chunk says, I love the art style and music of this game. Yes. It's so pretty. The music is so relaxing. Press L to toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off. Your fear. me how. 
now, but I've met Albert already. All right, he definitely is a shark. Yes, but his interest in all things maritime would be helpful. Mm -hmm. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. He said they were totally reasonable. I can't believe he lied to us. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. Good heavens. They look like classic mythical challenges again. Mm -hmm. A bit cliche if you ask me. Listen. That is fine. Oh my gosh, I love this. Now I want to be on a boat. Oh boy, what is happening? Gwen, help. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. Mm. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims anyway. I will wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out there. Oh, yeah. I'll come do it with you, except you're gonna do this alone. Bye. Mm. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. run into it. Oh. Oh. like a million. did it. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm really impressed. Yeah. You rocked out there. Mm -hmm. Next one. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. And without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. Indeed. Mm -hmm. But you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Mm -hmm. Slowly digesting myself. Okay. You are a spirit. Okay. Ooh. Fancy extra things. Okay, anyways. Field garden. Down, down, down. 
we're just we're gonna keep it simple for now because we can we can move things around later right I'm pretty sure this is good kitchen. Thank you. Mm. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Isn't everything? Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. Mm. You could even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Recipes. We have no recipes. Cook. We can cook logs. Let's cook a fish. Okay. And Chunk says, yeah, you can move buildings anytime. Okay. Good to know. done so we can stop being dramatic about eating raw fish Ooh, look at those up amazing all right and we learned a recipe you can smell it mm -hmm. i could eat anything except raw fish apparently just give me some food won't die just yet. Funny how that grilled fish looks an awful lot like cake. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. Then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. Mm -hmm. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Mm -hmm. Just never the same thing twice. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. Not sure exactly how it works, but an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. Ch yeah. Mm. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there is both a field and a garden blueprint. Mm -hmm. Which means you can grow many different things and turn this ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it. Which, in turn, will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. Mm. But that will come later. Okay, I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Ma 
Alstein Cove, and there's something on it we need. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you when we get there. such fashionable bookshelves and a little bonsai this is a great guest house Building apparently a field next. Oh, we need a lot more logs and limestone. I think I'm envisioning the field. Do I want it over the kitchen or under the kitchen? on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Maybe we will. Majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. It's fine, I promise. Now I feel like it's not fine. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. They, that's definitely how trees work. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. concerned we were about to get crushed under a tree there. Mm -hmm. It's not that kind of game. Congratulations, for you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. It's not that kind of game. But joke aside, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. you go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. And the limestone we don't have? I'll be next to the raft. Berries. <gasps> Gwen will love these when she's bored of everything else will apparently happen very quickly. Yes. 
Alright, thanks for hanging out, Cameron. Have a good night. Without you. I'm assuming I can't actually leave without her. No, there she is. Alright. It is too dark to navigate. Sounds like it's time to build a field. change my mind later. Maybe there's some different kinds of fish by this island. Nope. Just here. Good thing we found those berries. Because Gwen is apparently a diva. We won't eat the same thing twice. Unbelievable. Fishing was actually this easy. Sleep until morning. Check 
Mako in a field. Oh, here's the door, obviously. Different stuff and things. Another hug. <gasps> Good morning. Mm. Mm. You're welcome. Feeling little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Yes. Mm. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Ah yes. Mm. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field so don't bother trying. Noted. Mm. But you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Hogwin. A deer after my own heart. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. Mm -hmm. He has set up shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Indeed. Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbird then. <laughs> Alright. Also, yes, I am pretty bad with plants, but I have managed to keep some alive for the entire pandemic, so we're not like we're not doing great. I've also killed several plants in that time, but, you know, I haven't killed all of them. Here's a question, can we fish while we're moving? We can. I mean, maybe. Does anything bite while we're moving? <gasps> yes. More herrings. I was just curious. How about you, chat? Do you have a green thumb, or are you more like Gwen? Hey. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me. But I'm not surprised one bit. Thank you adds up. Mm -hmm. You here taking care of me in my final hours. You've always cared so much about others. Mm -hmm. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. <laughs> Chunk says he has a black thumb. 
It happens. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? Yes. We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. It does sound like me. There you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm. That does not sound like me. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. What a memory. Here, let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop on this island. Let's pay him a visit. stuff though yes see that's why I like things like this game and like Animal Crossing and stuff I can have all the flowers all the vegetables everything I need mm -hmm. and I don't have to worry about killing it or watering it or not watering it or whatever else plants need warmth, light. They they make it more complicated than necessary, I think. Take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fairer and the everlight. Mm. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the everlight's abilities. Mm. Two slots on it need to be filled up fairly certain you could use obols to activate it, but to get obols, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll soon find more lost souls like me. Yes, I've seen like 12. a fancy looking chap. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. Oh. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing hummingbirds since forever. You've got the glims, I've got the goods. I've got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glims. Step right up. Indeed. Okay, linen seed. For sure, for sure. Coffee beans. Expensive. glimpse am I supposed to have right now? Because I do not have this many. Good heavens. These prices best be going down. When 
help. Mm. Those prices are out of control. Like, too, too many zeros. <laughs> Chunk says he reminds me of Animal Crossing. I, he seems worse. Prices are way higher. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Yes, Gwen. Mm -hmm. Good, let's do this. Oh, man. Theodore, I know what you're doing here, and you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. Mm -hmm. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. Gwen. What? Madam, what's the meaning of this? Mm. My friend here is the new spirit fairer, but she's not a newbie, and neither am I. Mm. That little scam of yours won't work on us. Mm. But I, I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Mm. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans. No more double crosses. Mm. Just fair prices. Oh. Man, Gwen. With the insults. Mm. So stop being dishonest at once. Just cut straight to the core. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter, mm -hmm. got it? <laughs> Snap. But yes, yes of course, I promise you I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. What, a discount all the way to the normal prices? Hey, you, yes you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hail. Both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. <gasps> Is this a secret club? You want to come up, don't you? Not when you ask like that. I can see it in your eyes. Oh, can you? I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Mm. Some idiot broke the ladder. <gasps> no. You'd have to be able to jump inhumanly high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. Mm. But some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyways, see ya. Upstairs crew forever. Also loving this string lighting. It's great. All right, let's try shopping again. That is more like it. I thought there were too, too many zeros. Okay. Okay. She wanted linen. Definitely get her some coffee. Do I just buy garden seeds right now? <gasps> Hello, Lolly Jojo. Welcome, welcome to Spirit Fairer. And yes, let me invite you somewhere you can't get to. Classic. <laughs> it's very exclusive. So, like, how many of each do I need? We'll just buy some of this, sure. Turnip seed, yeah. I don't have enough money for any of those things. Do we need more 
field seeds. Oh, we do have a key. Oh, the key for Hummingburg costs 5,000. seems good for now. Fantastic. If you've got everything you need, take my leave. Oh, Lolly Jojo says, I've wanted to pick this game up for ages, so glad you're playing it. Yes, I've been hearing things about it for, it's probably been like at least a year. I'm so stoked that I'm finally playing it. It's so cute. Everything is adorable. I love it. If you've got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Okay. See you, Gwen. Ugh, it is inhumanly high. We'll just have to come back to the exclusive club later. Hmm. Hey, man. Let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Hmm. Your name is Mary? Or Marguerite? It's Missy. Wait, no. How do you, I don't know how to say that name. Don't tell me it's... Oh shoot, I'll get it. Someday. You could just ask. Alright, we, we cannot jump on the shop roof. I think he said we either need to jump in humanly high or get into this house. It does have... We can buy the key here. I just don't have enough limbs for it right now. Ooh, I simply adore your hat. Thank you. Our local shop, Raccoon Inc., only carries garbage wares. Seeds, logs, rocks. Ooh. All useless items. I need me a hat like yours. I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. Aw, my wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden, maybe a pool. Hmm. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say it out loud. Hmm. I might stumble on the rarest of finds. Listen, I'll have a garden soon. I mean, it's a boat. You can, you can swim anywhere. Oh, I'm just going in this house, apparently. I'm sorry. I feel like I shouldn't have. Mm. My favorite spot is this bench at the end of the pier. It's beautiful and quite peaceful. After a long day's work. Oh, oh my. I shouldn't have told you if I wanted to keep it that way. I feel like these are all good to know. For when I very mm -hmm. all y'all around. I'm going home. Don't follow me. Please. Mm -hmm. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell people. Mm -hmm. Listen, I just don't want junk mail. <laughs> I just don't want junk mail. Oh. Good day to you. Okay. Here. New ability. Double jump. While in the air, press B again to double jump. We need another thingy. All right. <laughs> this 
ghost is a whole mood. They all are. They are just something. And apparently now we're robbing people's houses. I didn't mean to, it was an accident. I would chill on this balcony though. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the mountain gnome race, there is a nifty synergy with the level 3 rogue ability eviscerate. Clearly. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? You probably. <sighs> Sounds legit to me. Oh, oh. Spoke already. Hmm. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. Okay, fair enough. Chunk says, you're the spirit fairer, so it's okay to take what you want. What a relief. Because I just took a lot of things. Okay. Seeds. Talk to Gwen. Okay. Okay. What is it? Morning already. Who needs sleep? Not ghosts. Mm -hmm. Not spirit farers. Mm -hmm. Now you can plant seeds in there. Give it a go. Okay. And then coffee and corn. All right. Plant. Mm -hmm. Let's plant more. Plant. Plant. Your thumb is as green as your hat. That's good to know. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. No. Mm -hmm. Don't ask my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. Oh, no. You'll have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find new people. Yes. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans. But you are the spirit fairer. Spirit fairers find spirits. Mm -hmm. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you'll like this one if he is who I think he is. Mm -hmm. Go. Let's sail. Like, just... Here's a question. How am I supposed to water these things? Question answered. Okay, and Chunk says you don't have to water the plants, but if you don't, they take longer to grow. Okay. Not necessary, but helpful. Good to know they won't die. Okay. Well, that looked a bit 
dramatic in there. I'm sure it's fine. Well, well. Mm -hmm. I could go for an amuse bouche. Listen, Gwen. How fancy do you think we are here? Type comfort, perfect. Popcorn, popcorn. I mm -hmm. love this. Thank you, Stella. I love comfort mm -hmm. food so much. I know. That again, curiously, looks like cake. down a tree. like it's fine he was already a spirit oh no junk you are not saying too much very glad to have you hanging out in chat with all the tips hey oh great you're here listen the joke is, everyone is Navi. I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. It just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on these wild fruit. Getting fancy. Now it's just berries with no twist. Unless it's just down there in the water. I do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. Can I just... I can. Dive. Just that easy. 
That's the one. Just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship with cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's just go to your boat. I feel like you were the one overthinking it. Okay, I'm, I guess let's go to my boat. I'm coming. Favorite new passenger. Just you wait. Absolutely. Stella. Oh wow. This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. What? It's me, Stella. Your uncle. At Atoll? Atoll? Surprised? Mm. Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. Love is green little. I don't know, what is it? Not really a shirt. Cape? Cloak? He wears it well. I can't wait to see the sights. The sea with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Wait a second. Is that a... Seamaster 2000. Of course. I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Am I? Is that why I can only catch herring? I've been fishing out mostly garbage. Is that what we call herring now? Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm so excited. can we catch now? If this isn't a shark. Nothing? Oh, when the line turns red, it's about to break. Quickly release A. That makes sense. Thought fishing seemed too easy.
they never stood a chance. They stood a bit of a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. Well, this ace level fishing has gotten me all rattled up. Which reminds me, I had this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. Absolutely, I will. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll take go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Now I have two ovals. What do you want one? Would you look at that? You've got two ovals. Remember that shrine in Hummingburg? Yes, yes I do. I'd try and add them there. Mm -hmm. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. Okay, thanks Gwen. You should go see. Good grief, woman. Alright, let's do some fishing. So, for those of you who have played the game before, what is your favorite thing to do whoops, while just chilling on the boat? Tricky one. Oh, oh, oh. All right, too tricky. <laughs> ah, another squid. Chunk says, it's hard to decide. Later in the game, there's so much to do. I'm excited. Like, I'm aware I'm definitely at the beginning of the game and still very much in the tutorial phase. But it's just very chill and fun right now, and I'm down for it. Classic herring. I've been trying to... Ooh, a fancy vase. Do I get to decorate with this? In Animal Crossing, I've been trying to fill up my... I've just been trying to catch all the creatures. I got all of the deep sea ones, and now I'm trying to get all the fish. It's hard. And the fishing is is so much different in Animal, in Animal Crossing compared to in Spiritfarer. I feel like this, this style of video game fishing is going to take a little bit of getting used to. Ah, 
Todd. All right. Chunk says, yeah, the tutorial may seem long now, but I ended up wishing it was longer. <laughs> That's fair. Fancy phase. get into the super secret upstairs club. I like that it tells me when to water things. I need that in real life. The plants to just have notification above them. Okay. Okay, I'm just waiting for the rain. Still a quick come here. This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. Get in the guest house. But I think you should try. Yeah. You have the Everlight. It will protect you. Oh yeah, because we need lightning in a bottle. Forgot about that. The lightning bolts will cast sparkles where they're about to hit. Rush toward those. Ah, I almost forgot. Have you got any empty bottles? I have. If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you get a lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? This world. Lightnings in bottles are a pretty handy resource, so come here equipped. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. But don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. Alright, I definitely already had some empty bottles as well, so... Ooh.
Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it for a second there. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush. You looked pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could ever have hoped for. You just hanging out in here, Stella? I mean, I'm Stella. Gwen? She probably doesn't like the rain. How's the mood? Not great. How's your mood? Also not great. Everyone's hungry. Let's see what we can get cooking. Cook. Let's... Let's cook up some of these berries for the uncle. He seems to like berries. And then, I don't know, I don't think I really have anything else that's gonna cook up into comfort food. That Gwen has not already eaten. Maybe we'll try some squid. <laughs> or shrimp. crustacean, albeit surprisingly combative for its small size. We'll try a squid. Just love food. Keep them coming. Can't get enough of it. How's the mood? Doing good. How about a hug? Wasn't that great favorite niece of mine? Alright. We had plenty of time. Squid takes forever. The coffee and corn look like they might be ready to harvest. Oh, okay. Cool. We'll wait for the squid, and then we'll check that out. That is good to know. is almost as bad as waiting for real food to cook. It's probably been like 30 seconds. A squid skewer. Here's a question. Can you actually burn food in this game? Oh well. Aren't we sassy? I've got that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. 
Yeah, okay. Dish type fine dining. I know you like comfort food, but it's fine dining. You can't mm -hmm. complain that much. Mm. Huh, this is absolutely exquisite. Worthy of the best fine dining restaurants I've been to. And I've been in those a lot. Yeah, I thought so. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Mm. How's our mood? Quite good. You need a hug. Mm. Mm. That head tilt gets me every time. It's so precious. Check our crops. Yes, I will be back, Uncle. Ooh. All right. Fun. All right. This is some good times. Okay. So, Chunk says, yes, you can burn the food, but it takes quite a while to burn. I only did it once for the recipe. <laughs> oh, you get recipes for it. Fun. Okay. I guess I'll have to try burning something sometime. Jeez, you gotta love the sights here. The sea, the sun, the breeze on my skin. It just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard this ship. With you, my niece. I wish your Aunt Viv could see you right now. Running your own ship. Helping out these stranded souls. It really warms the heart. I'm glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try and make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Except for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. Alright. Let us go to Hummingburg. So, can you burn anything for this recipe? Or is it Oh, just one recipe for burnt food, and I had to learn all the recipes for the platinum. Okay, that was- that was my question. <laughs> you answered it. The choir! Jumping. Let's go. We're gonna jump so high. Oh. Aha! I made it! Wicked moves getting up here. I kinda lied earlier. Sir, it's not so great up here. <laughs> But you're here, so it might get better. Mm. I don't have a membership card for you. Unbelievable. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. Yep, still, still his face right now. sister keeps asking me for money. How can I say no without saying no? Maybe I should ask someone to rob me. Hmm. I guess. I just don't want to loan my sister money. Oh, hey. <laughs> can I take you home? You're so fluffy. Lock too. Not this one though. Oh, 
two things. Looks like it's on the outside though. bench. We found it. Aww. What? Oh, you gave me such a fright. That cat, he looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh yes, yes it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean, Stella, is that really you? Who are you? What a fantastic turn of events. And is that your boat over there at sea? It is. You've came... You've come to rescue me again, I see. Well, not so fast. This time, I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going then. We have some lessons to go through. What? This sheep man. Browsing for some fiber. Alright. Oh, speaking of which, while we're here, I guess. Bye. Do we need some more seeds? Might as well. Might as well. It can be broken down into lime powder with a special power tool, the crusher. see if we could sell the fancy vases. Apparently not. Alright, I think... I think that'll do it. What do we have? Find a passenger in Hummingburg. I did. Apparently I know everyone here in this world. dark to navigate. Yes. Okay. Let's go see who is our new passenger. Oh, Stella. All this air, all this open space. Yes, I feel I can go grow quite nicely here. Look at me. I'm flowering already. getting out of this chrysalis. What a feeling. Thank you, Stella. You're not gonna tell me who you are? Who are you? Fine, don't tell me.
maple planks and linen thread. A letter a day keeps loneliness away. Oh, we need many more glims for that. Oh, we can do this though. Almost. We need more glimpses for that too. No shenanigans. Disappointing. Alright. Well, it is getting a bit late here. So I say we'll do a little bit of fishing and then we're gonna call it a night. Um Thanks for hanging out in chat, friends. Oh man. I cannot talk and fish at the same time. Um we'll be back again next week with more Spirit Fairer. Very excited to keep playing this. Stick something in the oven. We're gonna burn it. Uh, we can let's burn a herring, I guess. Alright. Now we'll go do some fishing. Alright. Yes, thank you for being here, Chunk, and for all your tips. You say you were pretty excited when I said I'd be playing this. Yes, I finished King. Oh man, okay. I finished King's Quest last week and then was like very excited to have done it, and then very, very concerned about what I would be playing next. And I got a a lot of great suggestions on Twitter, and now I've got many games lined up, so very excited to be playing Spiritfarer. How do I know when it's burned? Will there be more smoke? Or is it sufficiently burned right now? the garden. Or still, don't you think your boat feels a little sad? D excuse me. Well, it sure could use some greenery. Have you been up to the field? Oh, and Chung says, I think there's supposed to be more smoke. Okay, we'll, we'll wait longer. As an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. I've been thinking about this teaching thing for a while now. It will be called Caring for Plants from A to Zalia. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't ring as good once said out loud. Maybe I need to work on the name some more. Maybe. Alright. Smoke, more smoke. This is ready for harvesting. Yes. Chopping it down. In fibers. I guess we can we can plant some things while we up here. Can 
we build a garden? Yes, we super can. for now. I don't love it. But we can get more um, organized and aesthetically pleasing about it later. Alright. Are we burnt yet? has gone so many times. There does seem to be a lot of smoke. We're gonna try it. I hope you're burnt. You're not burnt. You're just a grilled fish. Alright, we'll burn something next time. So friends, we will see you next week. Have a great rest of your night and a great week. Um, make sure you're following. First Geek 411 here, so you know when we go live with our regular podcast show on Monday nights and other video game streams and things throughout the week. Um, yeah, have a great night. Thanks for being here. And no matter what happened today, Jesus' love for you is still the same. Love you guys.